What's up, Fanzettas? Hi. Hi! And welcome back to another family reaction video. This time we're going to be checking out something that we actually haven't seen in quite a while, and that's heading back into some American sports. Yes. And we thought, uh, why not check out the 10 biggest freaks of nature currently in the NFL? So I've actually been, obviously, if you guys don't know, I had an old channel called Kiwi Kicker where this basically started my journey into YouTube where I was like a rugby fan from New Zealand reacting to American football and all the players and the legends of the game and the highlights and everything. And so I'm kind of, I'm probably a little bit more familiar with this sort of stuff, but these guys, they've only seen the biggest hits in football. Yeah. Okay, so let's check it out. The NFL is filled with the biggest, strongest, and fastest athletes in the world. We've become desensitized to the unexplainable things these guys do every weekend. To stand out among all that, it takes an absolute freak of nature. If anybody on this list can't make it in football, they might have a shot to make it in Space Jam as one of the monsters. Here are the biggest freaks of nature in the NFL today. George Kittle. George Kittle is so much more than just the NFL's best blocking tight end. He's also one of the freakiest athletes yeah, that's the guy who, in the NFL. Yeah. He's skilled at everything. Lightning quick, agile, a great receiver, a touchdown scoring machine, and he's almost impossible to bring down. He can even effortlessly jump and touch a 12-foot ceiling. Somehow, Kittle came from tight end U, the University of Iowa, and was still overlooked by 32 teams, falling to the fifth round in the 2017 draft. At 6'4", 250, running a 4'5", 40. Kittle's athleticism was on display early. In his second season, he broke the single-season tight end receiving record. The most impressive part of Kittle's record-breaking season was that he led all the players in the league with yards after the catch. He outmuscled, sped past, stiff-armed, and juked for 870 yards after the catch. Kittle's the friend you have that's just good at everything he tries. You know, if your friend was the best tight end in the NFL. Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack has been head and shoulders athletically superior to his opponents since he played at Buffalo University. Mack's long arm rush as both a raider and a bear shows off his ridiculous length and enormous power, chucking full grown offensive linemen off their feet as he pummels the quarterback. With one arm, Mack recycled Tristan Wirfs after he already sacked the quarterback. Mack isn't into the finesse game, he'll just run straight through you as he possesses the best bull rush in the the NFL. On his first night with the Chicago Bears, Mack's thirst for quarterbacks and superhuman genes put on a show on Sunday Night Football. He snatched the ball right out of Deshaun Kaiser's hands for a strip sack. The very next drive, Mack caught an incredible interception and housed it. Khalil Mack's rare brand of freak has become the cornerstone of the Bears franchise, Julio Jones. Julio Jones must have been in the league for so long that people have just become accustomed to his absurd abilities. Jones isn't talked about much among the best athletes in the NFL, when he clearly should be. It's like just because the Falcons lost the Super Bowl, we all forget the catch that Julio made at the end of the game. You know, the one that only Julio Jones could make. Julio has been doing that since his days with Bama. At 6'3", 220 pounds, Jones is one of the most menacing receivers ever. Julio combines size with four points. 39 speed, making him a matchup nightmare. He's also a walking 100 yard game. No, literally. He averages 96 receiving yards a game in his career. Jones' catch radius makes him Matt Ryan's best friend. All you have to do is throw it near Julio's zip code and he snaps it. <laughs> Julio is what happens when a 99 percentile athlete has all the skills to go along with it. You get a first ballot Hall of Fame freak of nature, Saquon Barkley. 
You've seen Saquon Barkley's quads. They're not just the size of tree trunks. They're the size of redwoods. You need the legs <laughs> the size of Barkley to make seven USC defenders miss on one play. In his time at Penn State, he not only became a legend on the football field, but also in the weight room. As he set the power clean record, throwing up 405 pounds, benched 225 pounds for 30 reps, and wow. squatted 525 pounds for five reps. Barkley runs a 4.3 40 at six foot 230 pounds he can stop on a dime blow past defenders and even bring the truck stick but his specialty is going oh. over defenders those massive legs sprint right over tacklers wow. as they hit casper instead of saquon who speeds to the end zone in his first season in new york he had 2,000 scrimmage yards a rookie record and 15 touchdowns but nobody talks about his second year where he came back from a nasty high ankle sprain to have 1400 scrimmage yards if saquon stays healthy, there's little to no doubt he will dominate the NFL. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is on this list for far different reasons than the others. Lamar is quite possibly one of the fastest players in the league. Reportedly running a 4.3440 at Louisville back in 2017, and trying to tackle him is like trying to catch the wind. Jackson isn't a very strong player, but his ability to cut on a dime or spin out of tackles is second to none. The mm -hmm. Ravens have built their entire offense around Lamar Jackson's unique ability. Even when it looks like he should hand it off on the read option, Jackson pulls the ball and slithers past opponents with ease. Jackson's running style looks like it's being played at two times the speed and everyone else is on normal time. To make matters worse for Ravens opponents, Jackson has a rocket arm that is pinpoint accurate when he's set. The only comparison to Jackson is Michael Vick. Yeah, but Vick wasn't say. nearly as far along a passer at Jackson's age. In his MVP season, Lamar's abilities helped the Ravens become the greatest rushing offense in the history of football. When you put into perspective how much more prevalent running the ball was in the past, the Ravens obliterating the all-time rushing number is a testament to Lamar Jackson's absolutely freaky abilities. Tyreek Hill You've probably heard the term track speed. Oh, he's got track speed on the football field. Well, how about gold medalist His Olympic nickname is speed? Cheetah. That is exactly what Tyreek Hill has. Hill is without a doubt the fastest player in the NFL, and arguably the fastest player the league has ever seen. Appropriately nicknamed the Cheetah, Hill chucks up the deuces as he pedals past the plane of the end zone and is a nightmare for defenses all over the league. In fact, NFL teams build their entire game plan around Hill's blazing speed. There's not a combine run to quantify his speed, but at his pro day in 2016, some scouts hand-timed him at 4.21 in the 40. Even when Tariq doesn't have the ball, he's running fast. On an 84-yard Damian Williams touchdown run, he ran up to catch up and celebrate, clocking in at an amazing 22.81 miles an hour. You can visually see Hill running like everyone else is in slow motion, cruising by defenders trying to get the <laughs> ball carrier. The way Tariq Hill just seems past some of the world's best athletes is simply jaw-dropping. Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is the most underappreciated freak in the NFL. A man at 270 pounds should not be leaping over other men and doing windmill dunks in his spare time. Garrett's explosiveness is unmatched on the line of scrimmage. He's long and strong. His first step dominates blockers and resets the line of scrimmage. While he's still developing as a defensive lineman, Garrett can get by on just his pure freak athleticism alone. He has arguably the fastest get off of any D lineman in the league. And that comes from the inhuman power that allows him to box jump while holding a pair of 40-pound dumbbells. The explosiveness of a 6'4", 270-pound man who runs a 4.4 in the 40 made him a unanimous first overall pick. And he's the last guy you'd want to meet in the dark alley. DK Metcalf. To show what kind of a monster DK Metcalf is, we have to start with the pre-combine pictures. Normal humans don't looks look like, like a cartoon. that. They just don't. If we look like that, we'd never wear a shirt either. But DK <laughs> isn't just a 6'3", 228-pound behemoth with 5% body fat. He's one of the league's fastest receivers as well. He showed it with a 4.340 time at the combine. Wow. DK can just outrun defenders. If his speed isn't fast enough, his 40-inch vertical leap to jump over corners 
course, will do just the trick. And if you think you can just jam him at the line, well, good luck. Metcalf's 27 reps on the bench press is more than any receiver in recent history. Quite simply, DK Metcalf makes you believe in the unbelievable. Like maybe aliens are already here on Earth. He's the league's <laughs> largest receiver. And when he's not running past defensive backs, he's hawking them down. Sorry, Buda Baker. Aaron Donald. <laughs> Aaron Donald was told before the draft he was too small to be an elite defensive lineman in the NFL. Opinions like that are why people get fired. Donald makes up for some slight size concerns by being built like Hercules and possessing the fastest feet in the NFL. He broke the 40-yard dash record for defensive tackles at a ridiculous 4.6. Yeah, you heard that right. 280 pounds running a 4.6. But Donald's long distance speed isn't even as impressive as his reaction speed. He darts and cuts through blockers like a knife through butter, obliterating plays, sometimes at the handoff. The old saying, if you can't block them, read them, doesn't really work on Aaron Donald either. With the short area quickness of a running back, Donald somehow plays both sides of a read option run, changing direction if his first choice is wrong. Aaron Donald doesn't just have speed though, he has the ultimate combination of both speed and strength. Considering he benches upward of 500 pounds and can lift grown men off the ground like children, part of Donald's <laughs> pure freak ability is his certifiably insane workouts. He's even been seen improving his hand speed by dodging knives. Aaron Donald is the ultimate make you take a second look player in the league, and he's definitely the most valuable defender. Derrick Henry. There's never been anyone quite like Derrick Henry. He's a 6'4", 250 pound running back, larger than every linebacker, and not much smaller than most linemen. Not to mention, <laughs> he runs a legitimate 4.5. So a guy that towers over defenders can also run faster than them. If Henry gets four to five steps going forward, it's like trying to stop a freight train. He's almost impossible to bring to the ground in the open field, and has arguably <laughs> the greatest yeah. stiff arm in NFL history. Just ask Josh Norman, or Earl Thomas, or anybody on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Henry's freakish ability has terrorized Jacksonville since he was in high school. Once you're done with this video, go look at Derrick Henry's high school football highlight tape. Henry only gets better as the game goes on, or maybe the opposing team just gets tired of tackling him. The defenders don't realize just how impossibly fast Henry is He's already until he breaks so away from them, and they don't realize Let's how go. strong he is until they're flying through the air. Derrick Henry <laughs> defies human physiology. Theology. And for that, he's one of the NFL's biggest freaks of nature. So, there you have it. The biggest, freakiest players in the NFL. Who's your favorite player on this list? And did we leave anybody out? Yeah. Jamar Chase. Wow. Jamar Chase. <laughs> yeah, but he's not like, he's an amazing receiver, but he's not like a big tank, like a big unit. Wow. You know, that's going by like looks. Because those guys are massive. And they run fast as well. Yeah. I know. That was crazy. My favorite is TK Metcalf. Well, only because he's from the Seahawks. Yeah, I'm biased. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was insane. Wow. Insane. Yeah. So do you reckon they're born like that, or do they train to get like that? Um, I reckon it's probably just a mixture of genes and training. Yeah. And like, you know, discipline and diet and, you know, just... Like, that guy was training by dodging knives. Yeah. I know. I know. It I know. can't be real knives. It must be like fake knives. And he's like, because he I mean, what if he gets like life. lacerated? I mean, that's his career, like, could be over. Yeah. Or life over. Yeah. That's a gamble to take. Lose a finger. Yeah. 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 He's like, but <laughs> my hands are quicker than ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure how old this video was. Hang on, actually. How, how old was it? Oh, 2020. So it's two years ago. So there probably have been some more freaks of nature to join the league since then. Yes. yes. So, yeah. Let us know if you know a new freak of nature since yes. then. Yeah. yeah. And if you like that one, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Go follow us on Instagram. Go and check us out over there. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on the post notification bell. Mm -hmm. So you don't miss any future uploads. We love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one.